Hi, my name is David Conn of David Conn Architects. We're an architecture practice based in London, and I'm in Singapore to present uh, this apartment we designed in Barcelona called Calle Vigno. The project came about as a commission from two brothers who grew up for part of their childhood in Barcelona. They'd bought a flat, which is in the middle of the Gothic Quarter. The apartment's on the Piano Noble of a 19th century apartment block. It looks a bit like a palazzo. And it's on a very acute corner, but it's in a pretty poor state of repair. It had encaustic tiled floors, but many were broken. And it was also subdivided into many small rooms, so that when you entered, there was no um, gathering space, and nor was there any sense of this rather unusual triangular plan and its relationship to the city, where there's basically these kind of very close facades pressing in on the, on the balconies. So there's all this potential of this kind of you know, love affair with the city around you, but it was all um, kind of held back by the architecture. So part of the brief, or the way we wanted to change the apartment, was to place a focus on the kind of pleasure of gathering, and that we looked at examples in you know, grand European houses of uh, living rooms that were really about kind of meeting others and spending time together socially. And so the architecture of the apartment now is about kind of creating the right setting for that kind of social encounter. So effectively, all the ancillary spaces now overlook, almost like a kind of theater, the, the kind of main gathering space where there's this table we designed that allows for 12 people to sit facing each other in a kind of diamond pattern. We put in a kind of small scale architecture and that has metal framed bookcases along the walls that become balconies that connect to bedrooms. Two of them are in a small timber tower that is a kind of scale replica of Codex Barcelonetta. And for example, the, the bedrooms in this tower block have louvered windows so that you know, when you go to bed, you can close the building. We wanted to replace the encaustic tiled floor and started to work on, on a new design, but also with a, a mosaic uh, company, uh, Mosaic Marti, who make encaustic tiles in Manresa. We were basically doing research into how could we make um, a tiled floor using traditional technologies that would be affordable for this project, but introduce something new that would um, you know, be an invention of ours that would move the technology forward. And those tiles are made by just taking pigmented concrete and pouring them into a jig. And we developed, I guess, a new way of them to do that, which was a triangular tile that took the same form as the apartment plan, which therefore also matched the public space. But then we asked Marti, who made all the tiles, to pour varying amounts of green and red pigment as he went through the whole batch, which meant, now you see it laid, that the apartment actually has a graded floor that goes from green at one end, round the corner, to red as the apartment goes out of view. And that became a way of designating two areas. The clients do love it because I think when they lived there, their lives were very pragmatic in terms of how they used the flat. What we were able to reintroduce into their lives was a kind of a pleasure of, of being in this interior, celebrating their time in Barcelona. And for them, I think that's completely changed what they think they can get out of interior architecture. They now see a brief and a project as about the kind of pleasure it might bring and not just utility.